In my last space update video, I was talking about how NASA and all these other space agencies were admitting that there was these objects out there in the asteroid belt or beyond it lurking. Now, this falls right in line with everything you've ever heard about Nibiru, a planet X, the winged planet. All these stories of this other planet that comes through our solar system and wreaks havoc. Now, the legend is there of a body coming through and passing through the system. It's been written by many different cultures. And that's what's so intriguing about it. Showing proof that something was tracked and it was tracked by many different people throughout time across the globe. Now, after a lot of speculation, after all this time, anyone that ever wanted to dare talk about something like this was called a conspiracy nut. If you've been paying attention, they've been slowly slipping out little stories here and there about an object. Just a few weeks ago, they were literally coming out saying they think Planet X is sitting out there on this long orbit. I talked about it in the other video. Now they're saying that this planet that they've discovered called WISEA 1147 for short Weiss A is 10 times the size of Jupiter now they have all this information you see but they don't have all the others just like always they keep us in the dark on all this stuff in this last Last week, the object they were talking about was very close. I thought they said like 16, 17 light years away. Now, this one, they're saying is a little further, but they're saying it's so massive that it could be a part of something else. And, you know, they never want to talk about the fact that most of the star systems out there are binary, meaning that they have a twin or another star that those solar systems rotate around. If that's happening with ours, they're keeping us completely in the dark about it. And if they were ever to come close to interact, who knows? There's so many bodies floating around out here in space. One thing's for sure. There's a lot going on that they're not stating and that they've always tried to keep us in the dark about. And the signs have pointed for the longest time of there being something out there perturbing even Jupiter, Saturn, But what is it exactly? It seems that all these stories are saying the same thing, that there's something there, regardless of its size. This time they're trying to say 10 times the size of Jupiter. How massive that is. Heading in, and who knows, This in, here this past week they were talking about an object coming in that was roughly just the size of the moon. So it's like, which is it? Maybe somewhere in the middle? One thing's for sure, and if it's, if it's different objects they're tracking, this goes to show you there's a lot out there. And it's in my opinion that if there's anything disastrous coming, you would only get these little tidbits. It wouldn't be until you start to see a lot of Earth changes on a large-scale type of level. And we are starting to see an uptick, volcanic activity, earthquake activity, covered the animal die-offs. And yes, these are all things we see on a yearly basis, but there is a bit of an uptick in all this. Is it related to something else out there? Well, one thing's for sure. Larger objects coming into our solar system would affect things that are going on. And what's interesting is there's a story that just broke about how the magnetosphere was down. I think they said two hours around the globe. And then someone had mentioned to me, they were like, look, right where the big huge wave came from off the East Coast, check this out. There's a huge buoy event right off the coast of Jersey. We went and we looked at that. Sure enough, 180 80 foot difference, a drop there off the coast. And someone had stated that, uh, well, in the NASA, I don't know if it was, it was the NOAA, in a little piece, he tried to say that it could have been a fragment of 
meteor or a fireball because we're going through the debris of Comet Thatcher right now. And it could have struck, a softball-sized piece could have struck at, right out there and caused that to happen at 14,000 miles an hour. That's what they said, trying to explain it away. Whether that happened or not, we don't know. But some of the latest talk here is that they've discovered this monster object. And it fits right along with everything else we've been saying. And you can call it, and that's also what's murky here. Is it a massive planet? A rock planet? Is it a gas giant? You know, is it a red giant, a red dwarf? You know, a, a failing star? There's a big difference there in all that. Because if it's a failing star, it could have around it planets. Anyway, I'll leave links here. Continue to keep you guys posted with more as I come across it. This has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.